The Cavaliers against the Warriors last night looked completely shell-shocked. They looked like they had never seen the Warriors before. Who are these guys who are playing on the court, fellas? I don't know. I don't think I can take it myself. I just we, we just turn the ball over and we'll just get off the court. I I don't understand what I saw last night. The Cavaliers looked like they didn't know how to play basketball. It's completely like, well, whatever. I guess they're a better team than us, so we'll just throw it away. So my question is, when did basketball players in the NBA become baseball players? Like it's a gentleman's game. Like when did basketball become a gentleman's game? I, I see LeBron James and Kyrie Irving smash into Seth Curry and knock the wind out of him. Seth's, Seth's like doubled over. Oh, man. And I see LeBron run over and go, oh, my, Mr. Curry. Oh, my, are you okay, my friend? Oh, you're such a good friend of mine, Mr. Curry. Did we knock the wind out of your poor fragile flower body? Oh, Mr. Kyrie, I think, I think I do declare we gave Mr. Curry the vapors. I'm so sorry, Mr. Curry, you're such a fragile flower. I, I didn't mean to button in and disturb any of your fine, precious petals. Oh, my. Oh, my. We just must not bump into Mr. Curry or Mr. Durant or anybody. We must just play basketball technically. We must play it flawlessly and go with our form and our technique and not play aggressive, not play physical. This is the NBA Finals. I mean, I don't get it. My tripod is uh, needs a little Viagra. And uh, I, I, what, what is that? When I was a kid and you watched the Detroit Pistons and Bill Lambeer or you saw Magic Johnson and Larry Bird, I mean, these guys were going at it tooth and nail. And now LeBron's like, oh my, oh my, I do believe somebody called me the N-word on my garage door in Brentwood. Oh my, somebody did feel great in my, my beautiful home in Brentwood, one of my many homes around the world. Uh, but they sprayed the N-word on there. Oh, my. Oh, my. Now, I got the vapors. I don't know if I can concentrate the game tomorrow. I just don't know. Somebody used that awful word that they've been calling my people for centuries. <laughs> you know, how many times do you think LeBron has been called the N-word? I, I don't agree with it. But it's like... <coughs> Apparently it got to him. Whoever did it, it was a stroke of genius. Because they know he's, he's, oh my, somebody please help me. Somebody called me a horrible word. I no longer can focus on basketball. Woo. You know, I, I, I don't get it. I mean, Isaiah Thomas' sister dies in a horrific car crash. And he gets his tooth knocked out in the middle of a game. And he still goes out there and at least tries to play. He plays his heart out for one of the games. But then he gets hurt. But I, I don't know. LeBron just seems to be like, Oh, I'll just throw the ball over there. Oh, without looking. We are the whole and glow, Harlem Globetrotters. We're just going to... We're not the Harlem Globetrotters. Play basketball, LeBron. Go on and play basketball. Knock some teeth out of some people. No, no, I cannot knock teeth out of people. These are my precious brothers on the court, black or white or Hispanic, Russian or American. They are my brothers, and I must not harm their bodies. <laughs>